Okay, hey guys, I'm Kevin. This is Amanda. She's our athletic trainer at Duncan. And Hello. so she stretched me out a lot <laughs> over high school. So the first question I ask everybody is, who was the hardest person or team you've ever had to play against, like in high school? Oh man, Kevin. Just remember that was a long time ago, <laughs> 25 years ago. Um, I did play sports in high school, and probably the uh, person I remember playing against that that I remember like going on and doing you know, other things after that was uh, I played against Tuttle in softball and Jennifer White was the pitcher at the time. Uh -huh. So she, I mean, she went on to play, you know, I don't, I don't know her whole career, but she was probably at that point, um, because so fast pitch softball was, you know, fairly new in the newer mm -hmm. stages of being in the high school, especially here at Duncan, whenever I was a freshman and she threw probably the hardest of anyone I ever played against. Yeah. So she was always somebody we like, you know, we knew what was coming whenever we played them and she went on to play division one softball and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, when her brother was quarterback at OU. Oh, yeah. So, um, but that's probably, if I had to, I mean, I, I don't remember a lot of it, yeah. but, that, but that, that one in softball, I do remember, um, her being kind of a standout, yeah. you know, so. And so, um, what year did you graduate? 1995. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how was kind of, like, your high school experience, like, um, throughout everything? Well, I mean, high school was fun. I mean, it was fun. I, I um, you know, I had a good friend group. Um, but when I think about high school, the story is, like, if, it, if story comes up now, it involves sports, mm -hmm. you know. So, it's a story from, you know, a, a road game or something like that. That's what I remember about high school. Otherwise, um, you know, a lot of my, my fond memories are from after high school, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, high school was fun, yeah. you know, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, so, okay, because high school for me was, it was, it was like super quick, like from my mm -hmm. freshman year, like with Colin and all those guys, and then like, like, I like blink and I feel like we're yeah. like seniors, and I like, know. Kinda, like, it goes like super it fast. It goes by fast, and that's what I'm finding out now as a, as a mother of a, 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 she's a junior, you know, mm -hmm. her... If I'm blinking and she's about done. Yeah, so it goes by My player. memories are, are of high school are, you know, I have good memories mm -hmm. of high school. So they're, they're a long time ago. Yeah. Memories, so. <laughs> so you went to UCO, right? I went to UCO. So, like, mm -hmm. what, what did you like major in and then like? Um, well, when I first went, I knew I wanted, I, that's when I decided to go to UCO, I kind of, when I graduated high school, I kind of had a, what I thought was my plan, mm -hmm. you know? planned out. I thought, you know, I do want to go into something medical. I actually thought, um, you know, when I first graduated, I thought I'm going to go to UCO for three years, get my basics and my, cause we didn't have concurrent back then. So, you know, you mm -hmm. started at the bottom floor when you went to college right. and, uh, I thought I'm going to go there for three years and, and I'm going to go into radiology. Like I had it all mapped out. And then about two years in, I was like, well, I knew, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you start thinking, you get you get exposed to other things, you take a class that maybe sparks an interest in something yeah. else, um, so, and I did that, so I kind of changed my track about three years in, Oh yeah. to, <laughs> so I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was a junior, so uh, I took a little intercession class of sports medicine, or athletic injuries is what it was called, just like a one credit intercession type situation, mm -hmm. And I loved it, loved it. And I thought, uh oh, I'm changing my mind again, yeah. you know. So I talked to one of my professors. So I was in exercise science at that point. So um, I was already kind of going into exercise science at that point. And before that, I was kind of on a biology track. Mm -hmm. But I went and talked to one of my professors, and I'm like, hey, you know, I just took that sports medicine class, and it was really kind of neat. And she said, well, I'll give you the name of our head athletic trainer here at UCO. And so I went and talked to him. His name is Jeff McKibben, and he's my mentor. <laughs> and uh, he, um, I kind of sat with him, and I'm like, what is it all about? What could I do with it? Because I didn't know anything about it. I right. didn't even know what an athletic trainer was. We didn't have one at, in high, when I was in high school. So um, anyway, I sat and talked to him, and he said, why don't you go observe? Kind of sent me out to observe at, at a local high school up there at Edmond. And see kind of if you want to do it and apply to the program and so that's what I did so I applied to the um, athletic student athletic trainer program there and I was a student um, athletic trainer for two years and then I uh, graduated and got all the um, classwork done and all that kind of all the observation hours at that point 
and I got took the national certification test and I got certified and so I actually went back to UCO to get my master's and I was a graduate assistant for a year before I got my first job. And so then the first job was at USAO, right? My first job out of college was at USAO and um in Chickasha. And I really didn't I wasn't very knowledgeable about their athletics program. I really wasn't. Even growing up here in Duncan and that just being in Chickasha. But um I interviewed for it and they were looking for a head athletic trainer. They had never had one before. So I'd be starting that program from mm. the ground floor. So that was pretty exciting, you know, to, to be involved in that. Right. And uh so I took that job. There was at that point it was about a, um, I would say 125, 130 athletes. Um, you know, we had, I guess, six six sports: um, men's, women's basketball, baseball, softball. And they had tennis, but then they dropped it. Uh, so, you know, they've grown since then. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so, like, I mean, as far as athletics, and so like, and they won a national championship in 2002. They did. So, like, so I started there in the fall of 2001. And um, in the spring of 2002, the men's basketball team went to the national tournament. And that was their second year. I mean, they've been several times, I believe. But the year before that, um, they were runners-up. Mm-hmm. So this year, I mean, even just being there with those kids for that short time, I could, I could tell this was, you know, a big, big deal for them to go again and kind of redeem themselves in that mm-hmm. finals. And, and they won. And uh, it was an awesome experience being there with them. Um, I traveled with them to Kansas City for that and uh um and just being there and watching that tournament i mean it's it's it was in a, it's in ai and it was probably some of the best basketball yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> i've watched in my whole i mean i've been around sports and i've um there's me the oh, you <laughs> uh, um, that's all right um so, <laughs> oh, just oh yeah <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I like to look at the camera. Uh, sorry, someone's at the door. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, okay. So the national tournament, um, basketball tournament. Yeah, some of the best basketball I've seen. It was awesome to, uh, it's exciting actually mm-hmm. to be involved in that. And then them winning and, and uh, you know, all that. It was really kind of cool. So, mm-hmm. so like, um, so like, how long, how long were you at USL for? I was there three years. Three years. Mm-hmm. Yes, and then uh, I came back to Duncan and started at the hospital at that point. Went clinical for okay. a little while. I mean, I had um, my first child while I was at USAO and all that. Kind of, it was hard. It was a little bit hard to have um, a small child or a baby. Mm-hmm. And I mean, she. I took her with me for the first year. Mm-hmm. Like she went to work with me. Madison did, and uh, you know that was fun. The kids yeah. loved her and all that kind of stuff. So she kind of. She was born into that, to, yeah, to that family. A, yeah. But, um, yeah, so after that, uh, I stopped working there, and I started working at the hospital. Like, what made you want to, like, switch from, like, like sports uh, to, like... Um, I think I, uh, it was just the, the pace of it all. I mean, at a college level, you travel a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, you're there all the time, which I loved. But, like I said, when I started my family, it was a little bit harder to be gone uh, so much. So, I thought, you know what, let's just switch it up a little bit, do something a little bit different, a little bit different environment in the clinic uh, for a little while. Mm. I ended up staying there 14 years. <laughs> but yeah. but um, I do feel like working in the hospital um, for that long and on the rehab side of it, so it was more of a little bit on the rehab side of it mm. than, than assessments and you know, kind of what I'm doing now, right. but I do feel like it, it, it improved me as, as an athletic trainer to kind of be in that setting for a little while. And I got to do some things that I probably wouldn't have got to do, you know, otherwise. And, um, while I was in the hospital, I worked in outpatient rehab and did physical therapy, you know, stuff, treatments, stuff like that. And then I also did, um, work, work steps. It was called work steps. So mm-hmm. I did, uh, industrial physicals basically for people that were going to different companies to work, I would do their physicals, and then I also help start the cardiac rehab program oh, there. Okay. So that was a little bit different yeah. situation than what I thought I would ever be involved in when I left college. Um, but working in the outpatient cardiac rehab was was 
awesome and a very, very good experience that I wouldn't ever want, you mm -hmm. know. And I was proud of it, um, starting that program and working in it for 11 years of the 14 that I was at, in clinic. So, and then um, now I'm at the high school. Yeah, so like what made you, like, so I was about to ask, like, what made you like want to go to like to the high school more than like a college or um, anything? Like well, I, when I very first started athletic training, when I was up there at UCO, um, and learning about the profession and all that kind of stuff, actually it was always my dream, like mm -hmm. career dream. I thought, oh goodness, if we ever go back to Duncan, um, you know, end up back in Duncan, I, I, it was my dream to start to do the sports medicine program here. Right. Uh, just cause they didn't have that whenever I was in high school and I just thought, man, I'd like to go back. If we go back to where we, you know, we were, we're from, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And it just, it took a long time for it to be right for me and, and my family and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the, the time that goes into it and all that, like I said, having small children and stuff, it would have been harder. So after being in the clinic for about, for that long, um, the opportunity came up mm -hmm. to be the full time. You know, they haven't really had a full time. They've had some contract people work mm -hmm. and, and cover for years. And that was fine, you know, that worked out and all that kind of stuff, that was good. But um, when the opportunity came up, they wanted to do a full time, uh, this was about four years ago, uh, I thought, you know what, it's time. It's time to do it. Yeah, yeah, it's time, I wanna do it. It's, I, I feel good about it, it was it was right for, you know, the situation was, was good, and so I jumped on it. So is there any like, um, like challenges or like, stuff that's like really hard that people really don't know about that they'd be like, oh, like? Uh, I don't know about challenges. I, I, I mean, there's always challenges when you're dealing with people and their injuries mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, how they react to them and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I it's been such a great experience at Duncan. Right. I have no complaints. Right. Like I absolutely love it. And to be honest, whenever it came about, I was a little bit worried. Cause when I worked at USAO, I was still a kid myself mm -hmm. you know I was still around their same age right. um, so I kind of connected with them really well interacted with them well because I was I was still you know young like them um, but when I very first was gonna go work at Duncan High School I was actually a little bit nervous like mm. I thought I'm kind of older now yeah. I didn't know if I was gonna c connect with the kids there and I thought you know are they gonna be difficult <laughs> you mm. know fits but right. I was just like I thought they're not gonna you know are they even gonna listen to me and it's been the complete opposite um uh the kids are why I love it mm -hmm. you know right. I really really do they have influenced me probably more than I have them and so I I mean it's been a such a great experience working at the high school level um, I, I do kind of wonder why didn't I do it before, mm. but it might just be, I think it's just because I think that the career that I've had and the places I've been, and the things I've done have made it to where I am now, no, like right, yeah. in the high school. And, uh, I mean, it is different than the college as far as, as far as, uh, you know, that, but not that much right. really. So, um, but I've, I've loved it every bit of it right yeah so, so like what's like your favorite like like sport like to watch like i know you do it all the games for free and yeah, stuff. Like, that i, I don't know if i want to answer that question <laughs> i love all my i love all my athletes <laughs> all my athletes of course athletic trainers we we love football you know mm. and i love football and so that's kind of that you know that meat sport where you get all those different kind of injuries and scenarios yeah. and all that kind of stuff but I've also, I love basketball for sure. Um, you know, I've watched basketball all my life, been a fan of it, um, played it some, you know, um, my kids play it. So I do, I do love basketball because, yeah. you know, my kids are involved in that. Um, but, you know, a surprise sport for me would be wrestling. I wasn't around it. I mean, I didn't really go to the matches in high school. So my first, um, you know, being, open to it and learning about it and all that kind of stuff was in college kind of covering some matches or duels at, at UCO and uh, being around those athletes and all that kind of stuff but here uh, I've really really loved yeah. being a part of the wrestling too because you do you see a lot of different things it's it's busy I like to be busy you know and and all that kind of stuff but I, I like all the different sports um, 
that will kind of affect me differently. If that mm. makes any sense. Plus, I like being busy. Right, right, right. <laughs> and and you and I like the change from one season to the next. It kind of mixes it up a little bit, and you get a little different. Um, you know, taste something different every every right. few months. Right. So, but you know, kind of a normal football, basketball, right? Yeah. Like baseball. I do love baseball. So, like, is there, like, any sports that really, like, you don't really have to do a whole lot of, like, stuff in? Like? Um, now, I do kind of rank the sports based on, uh, as far as coverage or being there in person. I'm available to all the athletes all the time. All mm. of them. No matter if I'm in person or they just call me over if something happens. So, you know, there's higher risk sports as far as contact and, and possibility of, of you know, traumatic injury or something like that. So mm. I do kind of rank them. So if there's a lot of stuff going on at one time, then I'll be at the, the, be at the site more, that, yeah. yeah, it's a little more high risk that, uh, you know, might be needed there. You know, although I, like I said, I love all my athletes swim. I don't go too very often in person. Um, but the, the, you know, he calls me when he needs me. Um, I'm available like cross country, stuff like that. I'll cover, we have one, you know, I'll cover a home cross country event or something like that. But as far as like traveling or being on site for them, um, not very often. There's some lower risk sports that mm -hmm. I don't have to be. I'm just on call for, for the most part, mm -hmm. but, um, available all the time. Yeah. So like, <laughs> um, so like, do you start, do you start like early in the morning kind of what time? Like, what is like kind of like your hours? Yeah. Like, in the high school, um, in the high school it's a little bit different because athletes are in class for most of the day. Right, but right, if right. I need to assess somebody, I'll call them out in the mornings, kind of use that time for documentation. Um, I do teach a class at, at Duncan. I teach an intro to sports medicine class, and it's in the morning for one hour. So any kind of class prep or anything like that. So my mornings are more for kind of catching up. Gotcha. <laughs> and, you know, documentation, um, my class, assessing injuries. Like I said, I might pull a kid out of class to assess them if I need to make sure I can really look at them. Because mm. by the time athletics rolls around in the afternoon, Isn't it busy? Yeah, yeah, it's busy, busy. So my busiest time at the high school is, is in the afternoon and on into the evenings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, we're in the middle of, like, the corona situation. Yes. So, like, kind of, like, what are your thoughts about, like, that? Like, um, This has been an experience that I don't think any of us obviously expected to happen. Right. I mean, I went from... This has been hard for, I mean, hard is like, I haven't had to deal with the illness or anything like that with me or, you know, any, my family or anything like that. So it hadn't affected me that way. But um, going from being super busy yes, like, yeah, <laughs> to sure. nothing yeah. has been uh, hard for me. I miss my athletes. Um, I miss the hustle and bustle of every day. I miss the crazy schedule. I miss uh, just the interaction, you know. Yeah. So that's been hard, um, and you know when you when I think back to, let's say February, March, it was so busy. So we had state tournaments going on, and, and and wrestling, and playoff basketball, and all this stuff, and it was just all at once. And then now it's like nothing, that seems yeah. like so long ago. Right. It's just been strange. But I have been working from home as far as consulting with, you know, I did have some injured athletes when all this came to an end, and consulting with them and uh obviously I can't treat them in person yeah. but consulting with them and then doing some administrative stuff policies and procedures and stuff for the school so we can get those in place and yeah all that good stuff yeah it is kind of weird because I, I just have to work out from home and stuff like yeah. it's like kind of it's boring to sit at the house like constantly <laughs> it is it it's is. like nothing to do so <laughs> so I've got a lot done here around the house that I don't usually yeah, get done yeah, but I would much rather be uh I mean I've enjoyed the time with my kids and all that kind of stuff and getting some stuff done here but I really I want to get back to yeah. the high school. My schedule's still on my phone, and it'll ding, and I'm like, yeah, oh, man, oh, we're supposed yeah. to be at home back baseball today, yeah, or home yeah. soccer. Oh, man. It it's is. It is different. <laughs> Especially, like, me, like, not going back up there, yes. like, for, like, the rest of the year. You know, I never would have thought, like, my freshman year no. would have kind of ended, like, oh, super know. quick, you know? Yeah. So, did, did were your classes online? Yeah, did they're all online. I, yeah, I did, I did homework before I came. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, good. It's just, yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah. You know, it's, it's hard, like, to focus, you, like, especially, like, being at mm -hmm. home and, yes. you know, Jocelyn's running in and out and just everything, you know what I'm saying? And oh, just, I totally do know. Somebody was hard. like, somebody say, oh, well, you, you know, you get to work from home. That's cool. And I'm like, yeah, but it's really hard when you're home to go get the laptop and sit down and, like, 
actually focus, do it. Right. You know, I right. I think, oh, well, I'm going to go um, water the plants. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can always think, but, I mean, I've had some stuff to do for the hospital and and all that kind of stuff that I, you know, that I can sit down and do, but it is it is kind of hard yeah, to work Yeah, right, home. right. It is. Okay, so. so this is a bonus segment we're about to do. Okay. So it's two questions. So okay. the first question is, what is your Mount Rushmore of athletes? Oh, oh man. Um, well, you know, I grew up in the Michael Jordan era watching him play, so. Obviously. I'm so excited for tomorrow. So like the little Bulls out here <laughs> yes, coming out. I'm yes. so excited. Uh -huh, well, I'll be watching that. Um, oh, gosh. Good grief. Um... That's hard. There's so many great athletes. There are so many. I mean, you know, we, you know, Kobe Bryant was awesome too. But I do. I think about basketball when I, when you ask me that. That's mm -hmm. the first sport that pops in my head. I mean, but you know, I. I that's tough. That, <laughs> that is, is tough. a tough question. I don't even know. That is a tough question. <laughs> Who would you? What would be yours? Uh, so I'll probably have to go Michael. Mm -hmm. We can agree on that. Huh? Yeah. Um, as far as like. Changing like sports, maybe like the the Williams sisters, mm -hmm. and Serena. For sure, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can remember when they first when they first kind yeah, of came on like the scene, came. you know. So that was exciting. God, I can't even Tiger Woods. Yeah, like, Tiger Woods. Mm. I mean, Honestly, all the athletes I think about are from a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, ma what about magic football? maybe football. Mm. <laughs> uh, probably Tom Brady. Yeah, I, I was thinking yeah, him. Tom. Uh, I'm not a Patriots fan, but he yeah, is, like, he I don't even know. Me. I don't even know that. I don't even know. Yeah, that's hard. I mean, that it's is hard. hard. <laughs> probably honestly, like probably like to like round it off like basketball. Probably just like LeBron. Yeah. Because like all the stuff he does with the schools mm -hmm. and everything. He does do a lot. Yeah, he uh, does. But like, other sports, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't it's know. Hard. It's a hard question. Mm -hmm. So, right, so all right, we forget about that one. <laughs> so, um, so we uh, everybody's watched Tiger King oh, for yeah. the most part. So, do you think Carol killed her husband? Yes, you I think do. so? Yeah. It was weird because like the way she was like kind of nonchalant. She was like, oh it was no, very, no way. I didn't. And it, you know, you I've seen stuff after that where she said they they misrepresented her. I don't mm -hmm. really think so. Right. <laughs> She probably did. Yeah, you know? I think so too. Whether or not she fed him to the tigers, who knows? Yeah. Maybe for a good story, but that show was crazy. It wasn't even about the animals after like episode like no. four. <laughs> like they I'm didn't even mention you, the I thought, uh, okay, I'm gonna watch this. You know, here I am. I can watch TV. You know, let's. Mm -hmm. And about thirty seconds in, I was like, "What am I watching?" Yeah, and then crazy. you're just yeah. hooked. You know, yeah. you're like, "This can't get." You know, any crazier, and then it's like, yes, yeah. it did. So, would you rather hang out with Carol Baskin or Joe Exotic for a day? Like, who would you? Who, who would, would I rather hang out with? Yeah, Joe Exotic. You That'd be way more Joe. entertaining. Yeah. yeah, it would make for some good stories, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm He's sure. Crazy. Is, but... is he still in Chicago? Like in the jail? No, something? I think they moved him. Did they move him? Yeah, somewhere. That's crazy. I think in Texas somewhere. I'm not sure. Oh but yeah. Yeah, I thought I read that. Yeah. Man, that's crazy because. Um, they're all they all were kind of like <laughs> weird though. Like you know, they all were kind of oh, just yeah. like like the doc, uh, the doc Antle dude. Mm -hmm. was like the girls are like sixteen, yes. and, like working up there. I was yes. like, that is like. A, I'm thinking, you know, well, he probably needs to be in some trouble too. Yeah, <laughs> serious. I was like, they all need to be like yes. in prison. And uh, and the one that took over, what's his name? Uh, Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe and his yeah. girlfriend. Did you see like the nanny like on Facebook? Yes. They posted everything like the nanny and stuff that they got. And oh my gosh, that's all, so crazy. They're all just so like weird. I don't know. I can I mean, and that's like you just think Did that stuff really happen. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't even know. Like, I don't even really know about it. It's only like an hour away from us. I know yeah. I did before like the Tiger King like yeah. came it's out. It's not very far from us at all. But then, like, I like, yeah, I like seeing everybody. It was like, oh my god, I've been there, and it was so sketchy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so crazy how like. I know. I'm glad I didn't. I never went. Yeah, I've, I've and never I'm heard of. Glad it. I didn't eat the pizza. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously, <laughs> from Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, that's. That's crazy. That but, crazy. Well, thank you for You're welcome. having me. Sorry I had to answer the door. Oh, it's fine. I was just like, hey. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So I kind of was, yeah, I was just like, no. yeah, I was like sorry hey, about that. <laughs> but thank you once again. You're welcome. Oh, man. So. He was a great kid. Yeah, yeah. You stretched me out a lot. So like <laughs> I said, you stretched out a lot. Every, and I enjoyed watching you play. Game. It was, it was uh, 
always fun to watch you play yeah. so, and perform. I was so. trying to I was trying to get Sam to do it. I was texting him today. I was like, mm -hmm. me and Sam would be like a good one. Yeah, It'd Sam be would be a good one. Come on, Sam. Please, Sam, <laughs> if you watch this, please. Yeah. He said he's gonna check it, check out the videos and stuff. Yes. But. Well, I would say my biggest thing about even with you is you know. Um, my job is very, very rewarding, and I love it. I love being around the kids. Mm. I love being able to – I love the injury part of it. I know that – I don't want people yeah, to get hurt, yeah, but yeah. I do love that. You know, I like to figure stuff out and make a plan for somebody and to get it back to them because it is rewarding. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you guys have goals. You're doing what you love to do, and right. when an injury occurs, it's like sometimes feels like the end of the world. Yeah. So I like being that person that's like, you know, yeah. now I'm going to get you back. Yeah, you know? yeah, You're going to play again. You're going to play. So – Getting kids back on the court and the field or the mat or, you know, whatever is is very rewarding to me. So. I'm pretty sure I broke my foot, like, my junior year. It hurt so bad. I don't yeah. know what happened. It kind of <laughs> just, I kind of just woke up one day and it just was like. <laughs> no, I remember. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Yes, yeah, so. But, but I still played, I mean, so. Mm -hmm. But. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm proud of you for all yeah. you're, you're doing and what you will do and all that good stuff so yeah. thanks for having me yeah, no problem no problem so <laughs> see you <ya> guys <laughs> okay